Okay, so I wanted to do a review of, or a comparison rather of the two different weir systems. So this is my old tank um, and you can see inside the weir there that there's a one pipe down below the surface over here and that takes you know 99% of the water and then I've set this second emergency drain just to take a tiny little trickle of water. It's very quiet. You can hear a little bit of gurgle there when it, the camera's close, but in the room it's silent. Um, and you, you could you could set it up to be in between the two, but um, I just choose to do this way so it takes any gunge off the surface and the skimmer gets a chance to process it. And then the return pipe comes up and over the top, and the idea is that the top of the pipe here is barely in the water, um, and this is what... Um, breaks the siphon so if the return pump fails immediately this starts to suck air in and the water level drops to the height of this um, this glass uh, part of the weir so it drops from from here to here is about a centimetre and um, so I lose that across the top of the tank and I lose the capacity in the weir here down to the second pipe which is about two inches um, so very little water drains down to my sub currently. Um, with a new tank, this is the new tank, um, it works a little differently. So um, I want to show you this setup. So here's the the drain system in the new one. Um, down in there there's again three three pipes. Um, one is the emergency which has got the Durso top on it, this one. and the idea is that water runs up through the this elbow, comes up here and trickles across here and goes down and this section is like a muffler thing so you should in theory get very little or no noise from this. Um, and that one down there is the main drain and again that one will take you know 99.9% .9 of the water and you just get a little trickle through the other one. You can put more through um, if you want to. Uh, it'll take a huge amount of water. This is a 40 millimetre drain. Uh, and this one is the return pipe, which uh, comes up and across the tank and it's currently filling with water. Um, and then this is the, the end of it. So it ducks down in and then there's a, a duck bill um, thing on the end of it so you can kind of point it and you know blast your corals or whatever you want to do um, so my because I was uh, expecting the weir to be a bit higher and be like my other tank I designed a sump which takes which is, runs with a massive capacity um, and has very little spare capacity um, and that's my issue is I wasn't expecting this this weir and drain system so I'm trying to work out well I, th I think that, that the sump will take just enough water um, so the two drains come down into here the one with the ball valve on it is the main drain and the other one the one on the left is the Durso emergency drain they both come into the first chamber and then you can see that the baffle is very close to the top, it's about an inch down from the top. The water will pour over this first baffle, it will then come under the second baffle which is about an inch gap um, and then it will go over the next one so that's sealed to the bottom um, and that one is about two inches down from the top uh, and then it will go under and over into the return chamber at the end and um, I've also got that's the uh, that's the return pipe I've also got this emergency drain in the or yeah emergency drain if you like it will overflow in the sump so this was fitted the idea is this pipe will get cut down to be just a bit higher than the edge of the sump and then I'll tip it so that the one corner of it will be you know a millimeter from the top so if the sump were to ever fill, you know, it was about to overflow, uh, maybe my ATU fails and dumps everything in the tank, 
or um, I don't know if the weir were to fail and the you know the pumps go off and water starts coming down from the main tank, it hopefully would never ever happen. But if it did, it would then pass through this pipe and that pipe goes off and is connected to a drain that goes out through the wall. Um, so it would never go on my floor. Um, the other thing and the kind of thing I plan to use it for more is that I can use this to do water changes. So what I would do is I will um, either dip the pipe just down further into the water just to take out a little bit or if I want to do bigger changes um, my plan is to drop a pump into the main tank and just pump water over the top of the weir. That will then fill the sump to the brim and it will start to pour out through this drain um, and then I can just replace the water and pump it back up. Um, so that's it. Um, what I'm thinking about with this system um, is I, I'll, I'll give it a try and, and, and see how things go but if I want to reduce the amount of water that pours down into the sump below what I'm planning to do is I've, I've removed these but you can see here that there are removable weir combs um, so the water will be pouring through these and then over this glass um, uh, weir and what I think is that this there's enough space on the top of this here to uh, stick some extra glass or perspex and build the the height of the the weir up a little bit so I'm thinking that I only need to build it up by a centimeter centimeter and a half something like that and that will because it's a six foot by two foot surface area on the tank that'll actually reduce it I think every centimetre reduces it down by something like 20 odd litres um, and that'll give me a lot more spare capacity in the sump for anything going wrong um, yeah so that's about it um, on the, the, the weir and the drain system in general I wanted to do a, a review of the tank as well um, it's made by um, if I can find a sticker It's made by these guys, Aquariums for Life. Um, it's a metal, it's a steel frame. Um, it's got push catch hinges to, to open and close the doors. They're soft close. So no smashing the doors, even if the kids do get them open. Um, it's all been custom built to, to my design, which is fantastic. Um, got three hinges on the doors, so lots of support for the weight of them. Um, the glass is nice and thick, 10 well, ten, ten mil glass, it's all been polished and nice beveled edges and things. The silicon is nice and clean, straight lines you can see. Um, it's got a phantom base which I'd never heard of before. Um, all you can see is reflection because everything's black and shiny. Um, but you can see these little spots, they're spots of silicon so there's actually two layers it's a double layered base and those little kind of white dots you can see are the bubbles from the RO going in and filling um, but it comes right down to the to the edge of the the uh, the cladding that goes around the side that is the the, the edge of the, the the bottom of the base comes exactly level with that so it's it's really nice and neat um, and the, these um, these doors all come off if you want to. They're just held on by a couple of screws, and then the the, um, the front doors, sorry, that's side panels are held on by a couple of screws, and the front doors are then bolted to those, so you can remove them and change everything if you want to. Uh, in the top, we've got holes in the in the two back corners um, in order to feed wires and cables and things through, so nothing's kind of looping over the top and kind of you know just keeps everything neat. The the hood has um, a wood um, brace, if, well, I don't know what word you would use, um, all the way along um, and on the front and the two sides so it just rests on the top of the tank, it's not siliconed on which means you can remove it if you want to um, and then uh, Aquariums for Life rather than do a single brace in the middle I think it would be the normal thing for a six foot tank um, because I'm upgrading. Um, I've already got two razors on my four foot tank so I wanted to add one more rather than buy from scratch so they've put the braces evenly spaced for me so I can fit one 
razor in between each one and, and the measurements work out exactly the, the length of the razor so um, they, they should fit absolutely perfectly on these um, wood braces. Um, I chose to go with cover glasses because the previous tank I had loses a lot of water um, through evaporation so I'm going to give it a go um, but again these can be taken off um, the these pieces here come away and the, the, the glass that slides across here uh, just can be taken off if you want to um, so I'm going to give it a go and see how it goes if, see how light penetration is and if uh, condensation is building up and he's wiping off all the time then I'll probably get rid of them um, but uh, I'm hoping it might reduce down the amount of uh, condens uh, the amount of evaporation I get and RO that I go through uh, what else yeah inside the cabinet you can make out those stripes on the floor that's a kind of rubber mat that's been um, kind of stuck down and, and, and fitted in the bottom so if you do have any spillages it's not dripping onto wood or anything it's uh, it's onto a nice rubber surface that's quite grippy um, and you can just mop it all up that would be great um, and the whole back of the cabinet is left open so it breathes and you shouldn't get any condensation and moisture build up in there it's uh, exactly what I wanted so I can just attach all my electrics to the to the kitchen wall there um, or maybe to the, the side panel I could fit a panel hanging off that metal uh, brace bar across the back or something if I want to I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it yet but um, yeah very happy with everything uh, I guess the last bit I was going to comment on it was the the edges of the doors if I can get it in focus you can see it's uh, two layers so the front the front piece is a, a piece of acrylic um, so this is high white gloss stuff now you can choose whatever finish you want I think um, and then this is like a silvery kind of silvery lines on it uh, it just looks really modern and nice nice touch to it um, I think it looks really nice so yeah overall very very happy with it um, and uh, I've uh, I've got a tank thread on reefbase.co.uk and um, you can see pictures of the delivery and all the rest of it which has also um, been excellent so yeah that's it over and out